times of crisis mm -hmm. or natural disasters, the Salvation Army is there to help so many people. It's a beautiful shot right mm -hmm. out, 30 Rock. And last month, they were needed like never before in <laughs> California, where those raging wildfires claimed lives and leveled entire communities. Our very own Natalie caught oh. up with two families devastated by the campfire. She's in Los Angeles. Natalie, good morning. Hi, Natalie. Mo. Good morning, ladies. Yeah, when that campfire erupted last month in Northern California, two U.S. Army veterans and their families narrowly escaped the flames, but they lost just about everything. Well, then the Salvation Army stepped in to help and gave these service members a much-needed boost in time for Christmas. We got up to the house, and I got out of the car. And I look up at the sky, and it looked like something you see in a movie. It was like the devil. And I knew I only had a little bit of time to get some of our stuff. It's exactly like war zone, if, if not worse. The deadliest fire in California history claimed 86 lives and entire communities. But two U.S. Army veterans, Chase Bowden and his brother, Jeremy Jacobs, both who served two tours of duty in Iraq, managed to escape with their families. I mean, I've seen destruction. I've seen city blocks leveled, but I've never seen a fire move so quickly and just devastate everything in its path. The brothers and their extended families had recently moved to Megalia, California from Texas so everyone could live in one place and their kids could grow up together. This was going to be our first Christmas together in four or five years easily. So I mean we wanted a Christmas to remember. This year's celebration was going to be at Chase and Kimberly's home. We had room for gatherings at our house for once. But the Bowden home was in the path of the fire's destruction, and so were family members who were scrambling to get out as flames began to consume everything around them. Everyone managed to meet up with Kimberly's stepdad, who knew all of the back roads to caravan them out. So I felt a sense of like security because he was there, that we were gonna be okay. The family survived, but Chase and Kimberly's home was incinerated. Miraculously, the one thing left standing was Chase's American flag. I fought hard for that flag, and it means more to me than, than most people. And just to see it there, it means the world to me. After the fire, Kimberly and Chase were living in a trailer with their two young children when a complete stranger gave up his furnished apartment for their family. We try and be those people that give. And for it to be something where you have to accept people giving to you is... It's hard. Very hard. We're all alive, you know, there's a lot of people that are not fortunate as us to have gotten everybody out. We're grateful for the fact that we're all together. All together and now thanks to our sponsor, the Salvation Army, all able to celebrate a special Christmas with the help of Lieutenant Arwen Rodriguez and her team. The charity went on a major shopping spree to give something back to these service members and their families who have lost everything and given so much. Who's ready for a little surprise action? Here we go. Hello, everybody. Uh -huh. Come on over here by the tree. And I'm so thankful we all made it out. Yes. We just want to thank you all for your service to your country, you know, Jeremy and Chase. This is our way of giving back to you as well. And we all know I'm a military girl myself, so I know when you serve, your families serve along with you. So uh, thank you for your sacrifice. And today is all about fun. Do you like Paw Patrol? Yay! Oh my gosh, look at that! Excellent. As devastating and tragic as this whole situation has been, it's 100% restored my faith in humanity. The goodness, the kind people that we have seen, it makes you want to be better. And I know in our family, we will come out stronger and better people because of it. Well, ladies, a good reminder to all of us, that little red kettle that you see outside so often and those folks ringing their bell, they do so much in times of crisis. The Salvation Army will continue to help the families during the next phase of rebuilding their homes and lives and so many other families as well who, is going, who are going through the same thing. And you know, Nat and, and Hoda, I've worked with that organization mm -hmm. for years and years, and they work all year round. Mm -hmm. We see them so 
so clearly mm -hmm. at the at the holiday time, but it's every single day mm -hmm. of every week of every month, uh, every single year for over a hundred years. Never a scandal involved. Never just doing God's work. They're awesome. They are awesome. So true. And when I think what what uh, she said in the piece was, it's so hard to take. To take. And I think a lot yeah. of people know that feeling. It's difficult to need, but uh, the Salvation Army yeah. does it beautifully. Do. Natalie, you Natalie, did a beautiful Merry job. Christmas, Merry Christmas. Honey, we love you. Thank you. Love you, ladies. Right. Happy holidays. You too. All right.